Inflammasomes A major role of the immune system is to maintain homeostatic tissue function. Innate immune signaling receptors monitor the extracellular space, as well as many subcellular compartments for signs of infection, damage or other cellular stressors. Inflammasomes are key signaling platforms that detect pathogenic microorganisms, tissue damage, or metabolic imbalances, and that activate the highly pro-inflammatory cytokines interleukin 1 beta and interleukin 18. The inflammasomes are a group of multimeric protein complexes that consist of an inflammasome sensor molecule, the adapter protein ASC and Caspis-1. Several inflammasome sensor molecules can trigger the formation of inflammasomes. Most of the inflammasomes that have been described to date contain a gnaw-like receptor sensor molecule, namely NLRP1, NLRP3, NLRP6, NLRP12 or NLRC4. The other inflammasomes have been described that contain the pion family members of sentin melanoma 2, AIM2, rather than a gnaw-like receptor. NLRP1 inflammasome is activated by Bacillus anthracis lethal toxin and muramaldipeptide. NLRC4 inflammasome is activated by gram-negative bacteria with type 3 or IV secretion systems. And AIM2 inflammasome senses double-stranded DNA. The NLRP3 inflammasome is activated in response to the widest array of stimuli, including pathogen-associated molecular patterns such as poor forming toxins, RNA and M2 protein, and damage associated molecular patterns and environmental irritants, such as ATP, amyloid beta, alum, asbestos, glucose and reactive oxygen species. Other complexes such as NLRP6 containing complexes that regulate interleukin 18 production, and perrin probably regulates an inflammasome complex containing ASC but not NLRP3 that activates interleukin-1. Although there are fundamental differences between inflammasomes dependent upon stimuli. In general, inflammasomes serve as a scaffold to recruit the inactive zymogen Procaspis-1. Take NLRP3 inflammasome as an example. NLRP3 must be primed before activation. An activating stimulus, such as LPS binding to TLR4, induces elevated expression of NLRP3, which leads to increased expression of NLRP3 protein. Additionally, priming immediately licenses NLRP3 by inducing its dubectination. After priming, NLRP3 inflammasome activation requires a second, distinct signal to activate NLRP3 and lead to the formation of the NLRP3 inflammasome complex. Activated NLRP3 nucleates ASC into prion-like filaments through pied-pied interactions. Procaspis-1 filaments subsequently form off of the ASC filaments through card-card interactions, allowing autoproteolytic cleavage of Procaspis-1 into active Caspis-1. Active Caspis-1 is a cystine-dependent protease that cleaves the precursor cytokines pro-interleukin 1-beta and pro-interleukin 18, generating the biologically active cytokines interleukin 1-beta and interleukin 18, respectively. Active Caspis-1 is also able to induce an inflammatory form of cell death known as pyroptosis. Increasing evidence in mouse models, supported by human data, strongly implicates an involvement of the inflammation in the initiation or progression of diseases with a high impact on public health, such as metabolic disorders, neurodegenerative diseases, hypertension, inflammatory bowel disease, respiratory diseases and cancer. For more information, please visit creativediagnostics.com.